Hello, my name is, Aldrin John, Ola here, Manalan San, and in this tutorial, I will be teaching you, how to edit, or renew a database, on dota 2 items underscore game dot txt injector. But before we start, at advanced section, I will leave auto shut neck method, checked for this demonstration. Now, let's move on preloading a handy injection database, by simply going to HI. Used items section and then, clicking browse database button. Select the database you want to edit, like this for example. Edit the active items selected by the database, head to Handy Injection section. Now, I will introduce you to the Handy Injection controls that we will use in this demonstration. There are two control boxes. The control box on the left selects the current hero you want to preload. While the control box on the right, preloads all the wearable items of a hero, chosen from the left control box can have. The second one, simply click the HI. Used items tab. This is where the items selected from the handy injection tab is previewed. It is like a whole summary, of all the items that you choose and their respective preferences. Let's move on choosing our items we want to add, on our database. You can choose any hero by simply double clicking a hero on the left control box. You will see that the right control box preloads all the available items that the hero can have, and has check marks on some items, that indicates that those checked items are used on the database. On HI. Used Items section, those many columns are the items, checked on specific heroes. You will notice them when inspecting each heroes, on Handy Injection section. Now, let's add new items on the database. Since my database still does not include any item, for Pangalu, and Dark Willow, I will preload their resources, and select the items that I want them to have. As we check an item, at Handy Injection section, that item will be registered at HI. Used Items section. As you can see, the item that I selected for Pangalu, is already added on the list. Let's continue editing, shall we? If you want to change the style on an item, just simply aim your mouse on the item and right click your mouse. If you want to edit the global items, such as couriers, wards, etc., simply go to miscellaneous section. There you can edit the global item type, with their respective lists, but I'm not going to discuss this all, so I'll just show you how to edit them, and add them your new database. If you want to know more about the miscellaneous section, I created a separate video that will discuss miscellaneous section.
Okay, now we are finished about this database, the next step is to save the database for future use, and as renewal of our last database. Go to HI, used items section, and hit, save list database button. Save it anywhere you want, but as my very own practice on myself. I don't replace the old one, but just let it stay there for remembrance but renaming the new database into something unique. So now, even if I close the injector, I can preload all of my chosen items using that new database. and can even renew the database all over again, if I want to include new ones, or select the best ones. Let's test how our mod will look like using our new database. Simply click inject all active IDs. After injecting the database, you should practice going to advanced section, and reviewing the report log. This report the items that are present on the .vpk archive. Now that we are finished modding, let's check Dota 2 now shall we?
like the video, click like, rate 5 stars, and subscribe to my channel.